Hi, my name is Chris and I've come to Thailand for cosmetic surgery. I had settled on Thailand as my place to have the surgery. I had contacted a few surgeons in Australia, in Sydney, and I, the prices were exorbitant and I didn't like the way that they had handled my questions and my background. I felt that they were very dismissive. Uh, one surgeon had suggested that I just needed liposuction instead of a breast reduction, even though I had explained that I had been a very large breast since I was young. And when I had looked overseas, at the different countries that offered it, um, I got through to Global Health and settled on Thailand. I started seriously thinking about breast reduction when I was 20, but I had chosen not to do it then because the technology was not what it is now, and the chances of breastfeeding after having breast reduction were minimal. Now, fortunately, I still have a 50% chance of breastfeeding if I do have a child, so that helped me decide that this was the time. Plus the fact I started to have to wear F size bras and I just thought, that's it. It's too big. They're coming off. So how long did you start investigating surgery overseas? I started investigating it around August, September last year, uh, 2009. It took me, I like to research what I do, um, I think I made contact with Global Health Travel around November and it helped me. They facilitated everything very well. They answered everything that I could possibly ask very quickly. I was very impressed with, with the service that I received. Uh, they took a lot of um, time to reassure me, to hold my hand even, which was lovely. And so I suppose if you discount the 20 years, probably about six or seven months maybe in total. Did you contact other companies that also facilitate people going overseas for surgery? No, I didn't. Didn't even think about it. I didn't contact any other company. I was just that happy with Global Health. I'm not sure how long it took Global Health to do the facilitation because I'm one of those people that bombard with questions. Um, I felt that it was very easy on my side of it though, so whatever trouble they went through on my behalf, it felt like it was very quick. How did you choose the surgeon? I actually spoke to one of the consultants at Global Health. She'd had the same surgery, the breast reduction, that I was planning on doing, and she gave me a recommendation of her doctor, but she did say, have a look through all the profiles that Global Health had sent me. There were quite a few. But I just think a personal recommendation goes a lot further than what I can read in a profile. And I have to say, Dr. Tiraset, and I'm sorry I can't pronounce his last name, but I chose Dr. Tiraset and I couldn't be happier. Were you nervous before you came over? Oh God, yes. I um, had purposely not told any of my friends or family until just before I came because I knew I was going to get the, why can't you do it here? We can't come over there. Aren't you frightened? And I wanted the less of that, the better. Um, anytime, anytime you're planning a procedure like this, you're nervous, you can't help it. Added to the fact you're overseas, that made me more nervous, but the, the costs of, that I was saving and the reassurance that I had with Global Health, it just made it that much easier. How much did you actually save, including flights, travel, arrangements? Global Health Troubles Facilitation Services. That's a little hard for it is a little hard for me to answer how much I have saved exactly because I had so many different codes from different doctors in Sydney. I do know that at least it'd have to be somewhere between a half to a third at least, and that does include the, the travelling here, the hospital room and staying at the villa here where we've done our recuperation. So I'm more than happy with cost. Were you in much pain after the surgery? The, when, I woke, when I woke up in the recovery room, um, I think my surgery was approximately three hours. 
I woke up in the recovery room and I was in a great deal of pain, but it was migraine pain. I don't actually remember pain from the operation, but I've suffered migraine since I was a child, so that wasn't really surprising. The next time, oh, and nausea. I do remember feeling nauseous. The next time I woke up, I was in my hospital room and I remember one of the global health reps who was here, Cassandra, saying to the nurses, turn off all the lights, she's got a migraine, don't make any noise. And I just thought, oh, I'm in safe hands and I went back to sleep. I came to a couple of times after that and I was in pain. Part of it was I was starting to feel the, the operation pain still with the migraine. But what's, what I can remember mostly is that once I started to feel better, which would have been probably 12 hours after the operation, I just got so much better so quickly and I still can't believe that I've recuperated that well, that quickly. I had preconceptions that I would be in pain and moaning and not being able to get out of bed and I've experienced none of that. I've been very fortunate. Do you think you could have come over alone? Did you come over with a companion or with a, with a, a, a friend or did you come by yourself? I came over on my own. Uh, Global Health actually set me up with a flatmate here, a really lovely girl that has made things so much easier because if you were, I think if you were on your own, that would have added to the pain, the discomfort, the, the feeling of being abandoned perhaps. Um, being able to share with someone and experience, even though she'd had a different procedure, keeping each other's spirits up, uh, that I think has helped the recuperation so much more. Uh, I would, I'm glad that I did it this way. If I had come on my own, I think I would have experienced a very different time of it. What day are you now post-op? Today is Thursday. I had the operation on the Friday, so this would be day six. And uh, I stopped taking the painkillers on the Sunday. I've just had to take the antibiotics, so I just think and I can't answer for anyone else, but the recuperation's been fine. Are you happy with the hotel that the Global Health Travel have organised for you? Oh yes, the, the service here is wonderful, the people here are lovely, they're, uh, they're always concerned about you, they're always asking you, are you okay, how are you feeling today? Because they're aware that we are probably recuperating, that we're not just here on a holiday. The rooms themselves are just beautiful, we're sitting in, in our room here, uh, as you can see, it's spacious, it's lovely, it's light, the view, everything you could possibly want is here. Have you been to Thailand before? I actually came last year on holiday. Overall, are you happy with the results? Oh god, yes. Um, for the last two years at least, I have been on daily painkillers, like Panadol and that, because the pain through the shoulders, Anyone who has large breasts understands that you have back pain, neck pain, and headaches daily. I couldn't get through a day without Panadol, through a night without Panadol. Since Sunday, I've had nothing. No Panadols, no painkillers. I, I feel like I can walk with my um, shoulders back instead of hunched over trying to cover them. I'm, I'm happy, which I probably haven't been for a long time. And I don't feel like a freak. And actually, the, uh, the size, I'm still going down a little bit. I'll probably go down to about somewhere just over a C cup. And from an F cup, you know, that's just huge. I just feel so much better about myself. Thanks for your time. My pleasure.